Now, if there was ever anywhere that was going to be a good place for scare attraction, it is this creepy ass building. Look at this. This is Newsham, Hosp Newsham Park Hospital. Was a, ch was a children's home, was an orphanage, uh, has been a mental asylum, has been a hospital. It's been abandoned for years, and a lot of people have tried to do a scare attraction here, and someone has actually pulled it off. So we are going to go into uh, Newsham Screen Park, and uh, we've got three different attractions in there. So let's see what it's like. building itself was originally built in the Victorian period as an orphanage. So those two mazes are based on elements of history from the building. And then for 18 plus only, we have a third attraction, which is Helluminati, um, which includes all sorts of weirdness that if you're under 18, you should see. Uh, that's downstairs in the basement. Now, as a lot of you will know, because a lot of you here are attendees to scare events, uh, all over the country, scare events are nothing new. What Asylum Entertainment wanted to do was something a bit different. And taking over this building and producing an event in this kind of space is something different. And we hope that you enjoy it. We want to thank you for supporting us tonight by coming out and having a look at what we've done. We have one golden rule which is really important. No filming. <laughs> Good evening. I'd like to say I'm outside Newsham Screen Park, but I'm not because we had to rush directly from there straight to Spooky World. Um, so we're just doing all this at the end of the night. So, yeah, let's uh, talk about Newsham Screen Park. First off, we cannot, cannot fault the venue. What an incredible, incredible atmospheric venue. Now, that building used to be, I think it was built as an orphanage. Um, it's then been a hospital. It's then been a psychiatric hospital. It is spooky as hell in there. Um, yes, it's all been lit up now um, and there's lots in there, but that building is eminently creepy, eminently eerie. Now, the interesting thing is quite a few people have tried to do a scare attraction in this that venue. Um, and I'm going to say this, even, even Tully's, um, I've seen the trailer for Tully's were going to do an event at Newsham Screen Park and it fell through at the last minute. So many people have tried and failed to create an event at that, that, that venue. So the fact that these guys have actually been able to do it is a real testament to them. So let's just talk about them. Um, a lot of people think this is a um, an atmosphere scare entertainment production. It is, but they are not the creators of the event. Um, they have just been hired by by the owners of the event to design the mazes. So um, atmosphere scare ent entertainment are effectively the maze designers. Um, and obviously they've been given lots of advice on whatever along the way. And, you know, I'll be honest, you can see it's an atmosphere scare entertainment production. There are certain tropes that we get with atmosphere. Um, some quite elaborate speeches. I've got to say it, sometimes people having to speak over a very, very loud soundtrack. I've said it too many times before, but atmosphere, just turn the volume down. If you want actors to be heard... I don't know why. 
poor actors have to shout over very, very loud music at times to to do their soliloquy or their opening speech. Um, apart from that, the, the free attractions we've got, um, we've got the orphan, Orphanage, which is the, probably the closest to a standard scare attraction, and that's not standard in any way. It was a, a fantastic, fantastic attraction. Using parts of the building, um, the atmosphere in there was incredible. Um, there were some quite large rooms and they were using some like hanging curtains from the ceiling. They have a problem, they can't attach anything to the walls. Same problem that Alton Towers have, where they can't actually attach anything to the walls because it's a, a historic building. So what they used was long black curtains hanging down to use them just as walls. And it was quite easy to work our way around and people were moving around between them. The set dressing, the costumes, the makeup, um, and the actors were really, really lively in the orphanage. A uh, number of great scares, lots of non-characters just stood around. You never actually knew which was a model, which wasn't. Um, and yeah, really, really enjoyed the orphanage. It was probably probably our favourite of all the three of the mazes. Um, absolutely standard. Um, great um, scare finale at the end. Unfortunately, um, group behind us caught up with us while our scare was going on. Um, but, you know... Um, really really good and the great thing about the orphanage you start on the ground floor and by the time you've gone up and, and out you'll have probably seen them in the video there you actually end up right up on the roof of the building um just going to talk about the building itself like look, looking down for when you're up on the roof you look down there's a massive massive marquee there great venue um great atmosphere with the stage the lights lighting the music big bar big drinks and everything so a really really good feel i mean you could easily spend a whole night there Okay, our second attraction was called the Institute. Um, now, um, the Institute is like a, it's a basically going into a mental home or you know, an institute for, you know, uh, de you know deranged people. Um, in this day and age, I think, you know, a lot of scare attractions have had grief from having, like, depicting mental health, people with mental health. It's still a great scare. It was a fantastic maze, and some of the actors in there were incredible. Um, the only criticism we would have is, again, because I can't attach anything to the walls, there are a few Harris fences, um, which I probably wouldn't have expected in an event like this. I would have expected more solid walls. Um, but, you know, the actors were really good. Um, there were some guys in the finale. There was a big sort of um distraction finale you didn't quite know where to go and you went down one route and then that was it was like a maze and you had to try and find a way out really really enjoyed that there was one of the actors there uh, he just had this like blank expressiveless expression expressionless gaze um and then when he attacked he was crazy so um really enjoyed that um a there was a rope to start with um a whole black section yeah really really good fun maze the final attraction, and I, I, I'm calling it an attraction, I'm not calling it a maze, is uh, Illuminati. Now, anyone who's done um, Psychomantium at um, Scare Kingdom will know that atmosphere like these more abstract, pushing the boundaries, 18 plus experiences. It's an 18 plus experience because there are boobs in there. There was a young guy wearing very few clothes, thrusting his quite large package in front of us uh at one point we were dancing with a fat semi-naked pig guy um we were warned beforehand that it wasn't scary it was weird and i think weird sums it up perfectly it was it was weird we enjoyed it it was freaky it was a bit weird um the problem certainly on press night and i think this will be rectified is that they were only pushing people through groups of two every three minutes we went in first um so we got to enjoy it by the time we came around to do one of the other mazes there were about 70 people in the queue now 70 people in the queue is 35 groups at three minutes a group that's over 90 minutes so it takes over 90 minutes to get um 90 minutes to get 70 people through through an, an attraction um I think for where they are with the venue and what they've got and the audience and there is no big scare event in Liverpool, um, they probably would have been better off putting another scare attraction in. Now, what they could have done is use the rope 
that was in uh, the Institute and they could have had a rope maze or a hooded maze. Um, I just don't think the experience worked. Um, that's, as I say, not saying we, we enjoyed it. We enjoyed it a lot. But for the audience that was there, they probably needed another maze to make, you know, basically make it a screen park. Apart from that, uh, when we came out, we obviously sat and had a drink. Uh, we had some food. Really, I mean, we really, really enjoyed it. It is the first year of this event, and they are going to find their feet. You know, um, obviously the owners uh, know what they want to do. They've got atmosphere in. Um, they've they've tried a few things. For me, ha having experienced lots and lots of attractions, I would definitely say get rid of Illuminati, put another scare attraction in, do something that will actually get the audience through, get the, get the, the population through, get lots of people through. Um, and give another scare attraction because at the moment you've got two scare attractions and an 18 plus attraction which a lot of people may not do they may like look at the warning signs and go i'm hell no i'm not doing that so um yeah that's just some open criticism or, or open uh, advice but all in it's going to be a great event i think a lot of money has been spent here uh they're looking to make it make it a big major event going forward really glad we were invited down um for the press night i think it's, it's now open this weekend um we had a, yeah we had a really really good time um and please don't think any of what i've said is is necessarily criticism i think it's just advice for going forward so we want to thank the team from newsham screen park for inviting us down uh we can't wait to see what you do with the event with the venue and the event going forward and with that we're going to sign off and we're going to go to our next event <laughs>